Hey everyone, what's up? It's Nick here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a uh, comparison video between Apple Mail and Microsoft Entourage. Now I recently got the Microsoft Office for Mac Suite, and I started setting up all my stuff inside of Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and uh, Entourage. And so I wanted to go ahead and import all of my email into Entourage, but uh, I didn't really want to leave Apple Mail. So uh, anyway, so I'm I have both my email accounts, or uh, I have all my email imported into both Apple Mail and into Entourage. And in this video, I'm basically just going to be doing a comparison between the interfaces of Apple Mail and Entourage. So anyway, uh, before we get started, uh, wait. Uh, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first one I'm going to be reviewing is uh, Apple Mail, which is the uh, mail client that comes standard on Macs. So if we go ahead and open it up, here is the interface right here. Sorry for going ahead and seeing all my emails. Uh, I recently just cleared out my inbox, but uh, these are the 26 emails I got in here right now. So uh, anyway, up here at the top, it's a very simple interface right here with all the uh, files up here in the menu bar up here. Then we have a little button for get mail, and we have the standard things for delete, junk, reply, reply to all, forward, new message, note, and to do. Over here we have the mailboxes where we have our... Uh, our inbox, which is the inbox for everything. If we go ahead and expand that, it's the uh, inboxes for all of my different email addresses. You have the thing for drafts, you have the thing for uh, sent, and you have the thing for trash. So I'm going to go back to inbox. Then you have the thing for your RSS feeds, which I don't really use. I think I just have Apple Hot News here for some reason. I didn't even subscribe to that. Here is the emails on my Mac, which is where I use to keep all of my um, uh, emails that I have to keep so that I don't uh, lose any emails, so I have them all in one spot. And then I have all of the things for the uh, email accounts that I imported. And uh, we also have the thing right down here for Plus, where we can add a new mailbox, and do Smart Mailbox, or an RSS feed. We can go ahead and hide the mail activity through here, but I like to keep the mail activity open. And we have the thing right here with uh, the menus right here, where we can go ahead and get all of this stuff. And I go ahead and import accounts. What you do is you go to Mail, and then you go to Preferences, and then it'll bring up this, and you can go ahead and import your accounts by going to the plus button right here. And anyway, Mail is a very simple application. It's built directly into Mac, and uh, it's very easy to use, and it incorporates itself with the OS very nicely. Another thing I like is that the fact that you can make a note out of everything. Like if you go here and click on New Note, it'll bring up here where you can go ahead and type in notes. You can go ahead and type anything in here, like uh, write that on write that one email and just you can go ahead and attach it to an email you can go ahead and send it to people and you can go ahead and do a bunch of other stuff with it so I like the note feature you can also go ahead and create a to-do list here under the uh, reminders tab but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, erase so I'm gonna go ahead and whoops um, I'll go ahead and delete that delete that too I'm going to go ahead and go back to the inbox. And so basically, that is uh, Apple Mail. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys Microsoft Entourage. So here is Microsoft Entourage. If you guys don't know what it is, it is the alternative to Microsoft Outlook. So this is basically Microsoft Outlook, but ported for the Mac. So if we go ahead and launch that up, it comes up to uh, this screen right here, which is a uh, very uh, different looking interface. So uh, over here, we have our inbox calendar to-do list and sent directly to me tabs up here. We have the place where we have all our email addresses. Down here, we have a little calendar. Up here at the top, we have our uh, mailboxes right here, our address book, notes, calendar, tasks, and a project center. Then we, we click on new, we can create a new message, mail message, calendar event, and all these different options here. Then you have the option to delete, make a to-do list, organize by categories, my day, which I haven't really used yet, which uh, it just opened up something. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, quit that. Then we have send and receive, which you can go ahead and send and receive all. And so if we go here and we click on a mailbox. I have my Gmail mailbox open, and it'll come up all to all of this stuff. Or you can go ahead into the inbox, and this is what the inbox looks like. You have everything sorted out through days. So we have today, yesterday, Friday, Wednesday, and there's all the emails that you received from those days. And you can go ahead and reply, reply to all, or forward. You can go ahead and delete or mark as junk mail. And then you have a little preview window here. So if I uh, went to my uh, .tk registration, which is an email about a uh, website that I used for the uh, how to build your own website and put it on the web. I used a uh, just a bogus sample domain, and that domain is expired. I got the email about that right here. So you don't even have to open it up into an email right here. You can just go ahead and uh, click on the email and view it in this window right here. 
which is something that I do like. But in mail, if I go ahead and launch up the same email, you can do that down here at the bottom. You can just go ahead and drag this thing up. But uh, unlike uh, some other people, I actually like going ahead and reading the email in the uh, emails window right here. Then uh, that way I have everything up here in the thing right here. Go ahead and add in new email accounts, I think, by going into preferences as well. So if we go into preferences, you can go ahead and go to get general preferences, address both, to-do list, calendars, all this stuff right here. And uh, I'm not really sure how to go ahead and add in new accounts because I just got this. So you can go down to add in new accounts by going up to tools and then accounts. Then you can go ahead and manage your accounts right here. So but as you notice, they are not exactly uh, as open as the preferences in mail. So anyway, uh, pretty sure there's more to do about this program, but you gotta admit, uh, I just got this program and I just started using it. And personally, I like the uh, Apple Mail interface, but I think I'm gonna actually start using uh, Entourage just to go ahead and change mail clients, you know, mix it up a little bit, but I'll still be using Apple Mail. And so anyway, I am gonna be doing a bunch of comparison videos between the Microsoft Office suite and the iWork suite just to see what's better. So I've been messing around with them and I think that the iWork suite is actually better, but there could be some mixed opinions and there could be some things that that one piece of software does better than the other. So anyway, this has been my comparison between Apple Mail and Microsoft Entourage. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.